What's up crypto junkies, it's Jay and welcome to this video. In this video, I'm gonna give you three, yes, three simple trading view hacks that I bet you you didn't know. Well, if you watch some of my videos before and I used to talk about this on a regular basis on the live streams, then maybe you do. But if not, then stay tuned because you just might learn something today. Also too, let's try and get this done really, really quick. Under seven minutes. All right, let's go. I like the challenge. First things first is a ton of new people come into the marketplace every single day. We have a discord of over 4,000 people now. And one of the number one questions that I get is how do I find good coins to buy essentially, right? And it's like a variation of that question. How do I find good coins? When do I buy in? Is this one downtrending, uptrending? Is this a good time to buy in? Like phew, all those sub questions, right? The number one and easiest hack I've got for you, which I literally think I mentioned on every single live stream for the longest time. We did live streams Monday, Wednesday, Friday for like two months in a row. Okay, so what you do is you come on over here. This is the homepage, I'm logged in. I have a pro account but you could probably do a pro plus, uh, once you, especially once you get into indicators, like I, I push the boundaries all the time on this, and so I should probably upgrade. But uh, here's what you're looking for, is you're looking for top authors of the week. This is everything, by the way. This is S&P 500 commodities. It's, it's everything you got going on. So um, you just come over here to top authors of the week, and what do you know, most of these guys are crypto, especially this guy. Scroll down, this is showing you the most popular ideas they call them which is just basically somebody else's ta charted out that you can now snag borrow and re reuse yourself okay so this is telling you what's going on with let's say bitcoin look at this guy's chart sometimes they'll have longer short written here like this long position that means you're holding it longer shorting means you're down you're playing the downtrend you're playing the uh sell-off period longing means you're playing the buying period or the bull run. This is a top guy. This is a top guy. You see here, we've got the amount of views. We've got views and comments. So as soon as you click on this bad boy, it pops it up and you get to see all the action going on with it, okay? So you can not only see what he is trying to say here and show with indicators, you press this play button, it shows you the live and catches you up to today, in case this date is a few days ago, then you'll be able to get caught up on the actual chart itself. And then underneath you have any written notes that he's basically putting along with it. Then there's usually updates to these guys, especially the guys who are better, you'll see updates um, as time goes on, and then you have people that are willing to comment and add their feedback, right? Great situation to learn from. X out of that, well, if you compare two or three of these, you start to see some similarities. You compare four or five, you see even more, 10, 20, 30. I mean, really, if you're gonna invest some money, doesn't it deserve an hour of your time just to go through everybody else's analysis and see what they're all saying, right? On this page, you can find a ton of it. You can also search, search bar right here at the top. So any coin, you can find somebody else that's done TA on it. That's hack number one, okay? You know nothing, go and find out what other people who do know something are saying about the coin that you're looking at buying in on. Okay, Jay, how do I find the hotness? How do I find the coins that are great buying opportunities right now? Well, I got something for you too. We come over here to markets, cryptocurrencies, and you go to overview. And what do you know? We got the overview section. Well, here's what is really cool about this. You click on performance and here's what you got. It used to be bigger and I liked it. Now, so change percentage, performance for the week, performance for the month, three, six, year to date, and the last year. Here's what you would actually look for. If you wanna find coins that are correcting right now, meaning that they're in a retracing period, you could look at something like the month or the three month. And what you're looking for is up for the month, but down for the daily and the weekly. So let's see what we've got here. Then you could take it a step further. And so that would give you positions and, and give you t like coins that you could look at TA standpoint wise right now, or you could even look at ones that are up for the year, but maybe down for today, the week and the month. Cause what would that tell you that overall it's a bullish coin, but right now it's in a deep correction period. Remember your time frames, and remember what that's actually telling you. So I'm up, for the year, I'm up for the performance year to date, which we're in February. That's actually a horrible one to look at right now because we're in February two months in. But this yearly would be great to look at. So if we're bullish for the year, but down, down, down for daily, weekly, monthly, 
that would just tell us that we're correcting and we're correcting hard. So that might be something that we want to put our sights on, right? That might be something that we want to look at as an entry point. And again, this is probably going to make the most sense if you want to get into this for like six, 12 months. You're, you've got an index and you're looking for new coins to add to your index. You know, again, most people are just blindly buying and they're like, oh, well, it doesn't make a difference because if it's all going up, so dumb. It's again, it's another one of those things that like everybody does good in a bull market. Same thing here. So then what we could look at is we could start to find ones that are up for the month, but down on the week and the daily. OK, so if they're up for the month, that means that, again, we're up, but it might just be correcting like right now. So you see how this is a much shorter play and we could continue to do this. Like, and again, if we wanted something that was maybe a shorter time frame, what we'd play around with, and this is if we're gonna day trade, we'd play around with a month and a week to see what kind of coins it gives us, what sort of result that it gives us, okay? So you can play around with ones that are up for the month, but down on the weekly and the daily, or you could play around with ones that are down on the monthly, weekly, daily, and it's up for the yearly. Wee, 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 wee. I hope you understand what I'm what I'm attempting to break down. And then what you do is, let's say you find a good coin or a coin is what you're looking for. Coin Gecko I started using more recently because I really like it. I like the breakdown of the data that it gives you. Let me just show you this really quick. This data it has all these built-in metrics. So while most people use Coin Market Cap, I get it. It's I don't know why most YouTubers use that. But if you actually want like metric data and scoring based on different variables and algorithmic patterns, this is what you would look at. You'd actually look at this coin and they've got their little dot chart here, but it tells you all the regular stuff, the performance, but it also gives you its score, which I think is really important. And so for this, the metric score, I think should be over 50, 55% to have it be enough action and enough volume in the coin to uh, day trade it. If you're looking for low cap that are up and comers, you could actually play with this too. This would be a little hack. You could go uh, 50% percent or below and see what kind of results you get there which you could filter within coin gecko to do that i guess that's a bonus hack right good job jay all right so the last thing i want to show you when we come in here to markets let's actually we were fine with where we were if we jump into let's grab a coin here i actually think it was right in there too but maybe not is we come over here to uh which one am i looking for not scripts no no, don't do it, Jay. Don't do it. Say what? Ticker. There we go. The hell, man. I'm sure there's a million ways to get to this, but it's technicals. I actually highlighted this in a recent video as like a bonus, but again, I don't assume that everybody watches everything of mine. I get it. Here's what this is giving you. This is combining oscillators, moving averages, and giving you an overall summary and telling you Hey, what's this looking like from a technical analysis standpoint? It's just a fun data piece to look at. Should you be basing trades off of this? I don't know if it's accurate enough to, to do that, obviously. You got a ton of other indicators to use for like, let's get into a trade right now. I would not be using this as a metric to buy and sell off of, but is this something that I can leverage to get into, you know, a six month, a 12 month coin? What is this looking like? So. The one day versus the one week versus the one month, take a look, there's quite a difference between some of these. So this is strong buy, buy and buy. And you can get a further breakdown below of what actual oscillators and moving averages and info that they're using to, to get this data up here. But I just think it's um, a very interesting tool. I haven't really figured out how to integrate it myself with what I'm looking at. I'm looking at it more and more, which is a great start. But I, I just want to bring your attention to this and maybe you come up with a really great way to use this that I haven't thought of. By all means, share it with me in the comments section. I'd love to hear how you're using this. But overall, I just think it's a great quick look at a combination of information and data. For a beginner, I think this is especially important, right? And some of these I've, I've noticed on the you know 15 minute, one hour, one day are strong sell. And then you look at a one month and it's strong buy. That again, you can start to integrate with your process. And that is the third hack. My friends, I hope that you enjoyed this. I hope it was valuable. 10 minutes, I lost. And this is the first video that you've checked out on the channel. Smash the like button, duh. Place a comment with maybe how you're using these. Maybe there's some hacks within TradingView that you have that I don't know of. I'd love for you to share them with me in the comment section. Who knows, I might just reward you with some BTC. So add in your BTC address, my friend. Go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Hit the bell notification so you don't miss out on any future videos. 
and be on the lookout because we'll be uploading fresh content on the regular. All right, see ya.